the parking lot under the Twin Bridges in East Falls. This parking lot was built to serve the people who use the recreation trail along the river and also our business district. While this parking lot was designed originally with city capital dollars to be this parking lot, as we were working to design it, we were taking an area that used to be all grass and we were going to put in pavement. And when that happened, the people in the neighborhood and the East Falls Development Corporation said, we don't want this to just be a parking lot without thinking about the environment. And we were really lucky to work with the water department because they were able to bring on some experts who really thought about what would be a good way to really manage the stormwater in the best way. There's much more runoff. Normally, when a parking lot like this would be developed, they would put storm sewers and pipes underneath and drains all around, and all the water from the parking lot that had all the oils from the cars would go into the drains, and that water would drain right into the Schuylkill River because we are like 50 feet from the Schuylkill River. So instead of doing that, the way that this parking lot works, you can see that there's no curbs around the edges. The water flushes across the top of the parking lot, taking all of the oils from the cars and the trash, and it goes into a stormwater retention basin. And that dirty water is being cleaned by the earth, so it, it soaks down into the earth. If it turns out that it's a really big rainstorm and there's a lot of rain, we have a drain that's about this high off the ground. The water that comes later ends up going into the top of that drain. If it gets too deep, the water will go in a pipe and it'll go into the river. But the good thing about that is that that water at that point is much cleaner water. The dirtier water is already at the bottom of the basin and that's the water that's going to be cleaned by going through the earth. And it's also delayed how quickly it gets to the river. So we've got cleaning of the water, it's really water quality, and also the timing of the water into the river is slowed down. Then there's also economic benefits. The way that we green this parking lot, we added value. In fact, a lot of people say this area looks better than it used to look with just grass, and that helps drive economic revitalization. The idea is to do public projects, but at the same time to tell people about how their individual behavior affects their own house as well as the health of the river, and then help make the connection between their individual behavior and the public works projects. People are doing things at their house. They're doing more gardens so that instead of the water just hitting their sidewalk or hitting the backyard which is paved over. It's going into a garden or a little planter. And then the other thing is everybody is asking me about rain barrels. So we're getting a lot of enthusiasm. East Falls is a really interesting place because we have an extraordinary location on the river. So the connection to people is so immediate. They can see that what they do at their house immediately affects the river. I really see us as a leading community in going green. We're like a small town in the big city. Our vision for the future is that we're going to be a green town in the big city. Economically, a green town and also a green town that really thinks about the environment and really tries to weave those two things together.